Picture a pit bull and what do you think of? A dog that will have certain physical characteristics and traits, such as a muscular build, short smooth coat, a broad head, a deep chest, and a medium to large size. The classification of pit bull is actually an umbrella term that's used for several breeds often referred to as bully breeds. To name a few, there are the American Bully, the American Pit Bull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the American Bulldog, and the Bull Terrier. These breeds have a rich and complex history, in fact so complex and intricate that would have to break out the red yarn to string together all the connections. But in this video I want to keep it simple, and maybe save that descent for a separate video. So let's start at the beginning, and I'll warn you now, it starts off a little rough. Pit bulls were originally created by breeding various bulldogs and terrier breeds in the United Kingdom in the 17th and 18th centuries. The primary purpose of these breeds was to participate in bull and bear baiting which was a popular form of entertainment at the time. A sport in which a bull or bear was tethered to a stake and the dog was released to attack the animals, trying to immobilize it. This activity was eventually banned in 1835 in the UK. The British Parliament enacted the Cruelty to Animals Act of 1835, which prohibited the baiting of certain animals such as bulls and bears. But the people of that era moved on to ratting for the next form of violent entertainment. This practice pitted dogs against rats in which they were timed to see whose dog would delete the most rats in the least amount of time. The pit in pit bull comes from this practice as the rats were placed into a pit so that they could not escape. And if that wasn't enough, they then moved on to dog fighting because it was more easily hidden. Now on to some lighter information. The breed was brought to the United States and Canada shortly before the Civil War. In early America, these frontier dogs took on an all-purpose role. They were responsible for herding cattle and sheep. They guarded livestock and families against thieves and wild animals. They helped on the hunts and were used as hog catchers. They became known for their loyalty and courage and were often kept as companions by immigrants and working class families. It was around this time when the age-old myth of pit bulls being nanny dogs started. If you are getting some value and or entertainment from this video, go ahead and hit the like button for me. Now, fast forward to the 1940s during World War II when the pit bull found themselves as the mascot of America. Pit bulls were not officially designated as a mascot during World War II but they were often used as a symbol of American resilience and determination. Pit bulls were associated with strength and courage and were often featured in wartime propaganda and on posters encouraging enlistment and support for the war effort. After the war, they were seen as an everyday dog and had a good recognition due to the dog Petey on the Little Rascals. Skipping ahead a few more decades to the 1980s, and dog fighting began to become more prominent again despite the practice being outlawed in all 50 states in 1976. Being bred for dog fighting and put on guard dog duty, their reputation took a turn back in the other direction of their original roots. Along with reports of aggressive incidents and the reputation of being associated with criminal activity, they were banned in many cities and municipalities. But as once a symbol of resilience and determination, the pit bull image has trudged its way through good times and bad. Many advocacy groups have been trying to rehabilitate their image with some success. Having had to face off with pit bulls of different breeds on many occasions, I can say you have to be extremely cautious coming across these types running around freely. And due to them being used as guard dogs, a lot of these encounters haven't been friendly. These types of dogs have a high prey drive due to their roots, as I explained earlier. I won't paint them all as aggressive, but that goes for any dog that shows signs and may be a threat to you. That being said, I've also come across many friendly pit bull type dogs as well. Learning to read their body language can help you assess whether or not a dog is a threat, but I will go over that in another video. And that will bring us to the end of this video. 
If you've made it all the way to the end, please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, stay aware out there.